I am not in the garden today. Uh, it's rained quite a bit here. Not, not so exciting. Um, we had a couple good storms come through and it kind of just made everything so wet, so soggy. And I realize you can't see me. <laughs> uh, I film on my cell phone. So sometimes it's a little crazy. So today I'm spending time in my office or our canning room, whatever you want to call it. It's the extra room in our house. It holds all of our like homeschool stuff, all, all the canning stuff, all our canned goods we've done, all my sewing stuff. Um, because what I do for myself for fun is I sew. And today I am working on making my son shorts because, because our kids grow up, they don't grow out. So I have gone from store to store trying to find him shorts. I, I have done all sorts of things. I, I am done. I'm done playing that game, so I'm just making him some. And it's actually easy. I just, you know, sometimes I don't. <laughs> but I really enjoy sewing. Um, when my husband was deployed, it was kind of like the thing for me. Um, because I was by myself forever. <laughs> forever, it felt like. Um, so it was it was my thing. Um, like I put the kids to bed and I made, oh gosh, I think I made one quilt while he was gone right after he, um, one and a half quilts, I think when he was gone. And then I made another quilt and a half when he came home. Um, sewing for me is just, it's peaceful. It's when I catch up on my TV shows, that kind of stuff. Um, and it's just kind of the, the me time I can have. Uh, so I enjoy it. Lately, I've actually been making lady pads. Um, I know it's something kind of maybe gross and taboo for some people, but I'm making my own lady cloth just like you would cloth diapers because to be honest that's so expensive and i feel like as you get older you get picky i got picky um and it's it's fun it's something to do i really enjoy it um i like to make dresses and all sorts of things my daughter is like my number one person who thinks she needs a new wardrobe all the time. I mean, little girls, right? So today it's my son's turn for some clothes because kids. So sewing is, is one of those where I actually taught myself how to sew. Um, I decided one day I wanted to sew. I bought myself a sewing machine off Facebook Marketplace. It is a sewing machine from the 70s. It's a Kenmore. It is a powerhouse. I actually have now two of them plus a pink vintage one. No, I bought my pink vintage one first. I found it at Goodwill. Yeah, yeah. My brain is gone. I found it at Goodwill. I paid, I think, $90 for it. It's a brother from the 50s and... I taught myself to sew on that one. I loved sewing so much. Um, that one only did straight stitch. So, you know, us, it didn't do anything fancy. Um, and the more I learned about sewing, the more I learned about doing things, I learned about the Kenmores. That's how it worked. Yeah. Get my back straight in my brain. Um, so I got myself a Kenmore. I got it for $100. Um, this lady was selling off her mom's stuff after she passed away. The mom was the only owner. It comes in a table, which I actually love because then I can spread out some on it. Um, and it gives me a nice big flat surface to sew on. So with quilting and all that, it is one of my favorites. Um, I got that. I just practiced. <laughs> I sewed some things that were not great. Um, and I've sewn some things that are pretty good. So one of the quilts we use all the time on my bed, 
um, I made it. <laughs> and so that's exciting. When my best friend got married, I made her one of the quilts I made. Um, one of the other ones sits on our recliner. Uh, I have fabric I bought around Christmas time to make a Christmas quilt. That is one of my goals for this summer because our weather is so mild here in the winter. It's not like, you know, Northern winters. So I end up sewing more in the summer because it's just so hot. Um, I mean, if you're outside too much in the middle of the day or during the summer here, you get heat stroke. So I sew a lot in the summer when, so we go outside more in the mornings and the evenings. And then I, um, sew a lot during the day and it's nice having the bright sunlight to sew with instead of just regular light. Um, now, if you guys want to know more about sewing, I will happily talk about it, but I, I don't, I don't know everything. I literally just teach myself as I go. Um, sewing is definitely sometimes, um, it hurts your brain <laughs> because you have to think of the steps and, um, my brain does not work that way, but I, I enjoy it. So like, look at these. I need a hem, sew the hem and around it. How cute are these little Avenger shorts for my son? Um, so I really enjoy this. It's just so fun for me. homemade and I don't have a tag for them. I cut a little piece of fabric and I just happened to get Thor's hammer. So I have this little flap from where I put in the elastic and I'm just going to sew this in and it will hang down and it'll look like a little tag so my son will know where the back is. But did that work out so cute? tag. Little pair of shorts. How cute is that? When you're six and superheroes are cool, I feel like I get to be the cool parent. <laughs> something for me, something for them. He'll probably honestly use these as pajamas. The whole point of me making him shorts is because he wants khaki shorts like my husband. Um, but I can't get him to fit his size. So I 
we went to Hobby Lobby. That's the closest fabric store for us. Um, and their fabric was conveniently 40% off there. So I got two yards of a khaki fabric. I'm going to make them shorts like this. I will probably add in pockets and then probably a cargo pocket on the side. Um, just so he feels cool since <laughs> he's going to be wearing elastic waist forever. Um, but that's what I did. So it's kind of sad. Let me show you what I've made without trying to show you how incredibly messy this room is because I am a disaster. Like uber tornado when when I sew. And I've been doing like five million projects all at once. Um, between friends and neighbors, um, I've become the mender person. So I did some projects for my friends. I have jars I never put away. Just a mess everywhere. But let me show you the mama cloth that I made. Okay, so I know this will not be everybody's cup of tea. I don't honestly know if I even like them yet, but I made them. I've made five so far. I have some more I want to make, but they package up nice and neat. They're pretty cute. I just used, it's a one way to use up some scrap fabric for me too. Um, the reason I decided I wanted to start trying these is one, it would save a lot of money. If you've cloth diapered before, this is honestly no different. I think it's honestly easier because you just rinse them out in cool water after they've been used and then you can wash them with regular clothes just like you would a pair of dirty underwear. I know that sounds gross, but when you're a woman and you're used to how menstruating works, it's not a big deal. So I made them like this. The one thing I really had to buy to make this was um, a snap kit. So a pair of snap pliers and the snaps. I found mine at my Walmart and I spent $25 on it. And then at Joann's, I found some nylon that works as my waterproof barrier, which would also breathe. Found it in the remnant spin. It was a half off day, so I really didn't spend that much. So they just kind of fold out and they, you know, can snap around your underwear. I think it's just fun. They could be, I mean, this one is kind of more muted. This one is bats. Um, I like, why not? Why not? I have a sunflowers. This one is probably my favorite. This one looks the most like a pad. Um, because I made the inside visible. And on this one, I used, um, some cloth diaper insert. So I don't know. I think it's fun. It's one way to save money, you know, all sorts of things. Okay. So this room is a tight squeeze. I used to run my LuLaRoe business out of here. I closed my business a while ago. It's been almost two years, a year and a half, two years. I don't even know. It's been a while. We didn't know what to do with this room. It became a clutter room. And then one day I decided, let me move my canning goods in here because that would just make sense. We'd get them out of our laundry room because that's just a, such a narrow room. Okay, so I have my sewing table. It folds up and goes in the corner. I pull it out when I sew. I have my canning rack here full of stuff. Canning rack window. This is my grandma's table that folds out. It's great. More canning, my Hoosier closet desk all the homeschool things. Thank you for joining me in here. I know this isn't normally like the cooking and gardening things that I do, but it's my channel and I get to share what I like to do. And sometimes that's sewing. If you want to know more about sewing, some of my like beginner tips and tricks where I learned how to sew, why I pick certain sewing machines to sew on and things like that, I will gladly talk about it. It's stuff I enjoy doing. So why not? So Thank you for joining me. If you made it all the way through this video, I'm going to go keep sewing. Have a good one, friends.